In our last vlog, we set off to Algonquin Provincial Park Mew Lake Campground. After setting up our campsite, we had a couple of days where we didn't really do much of anything, plus the weather got us a bit down. In this vlog, we set up to head out and explore. Let's go. So Tia kept asking me what I wanted to do today. And what did I say? Andy was having a no promises day. <laughs> um, so the no promises day ended up being a bit of biking. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we're gonna go bike a trail that Tia uh, looked up. It is called the Old Rail... Algonquin Old Railway Trail. That one. Six it's the only like kind of flat railway or biking trail in um, all of Algonquin Provincial Park. All of the other ones you need mountain bikes for, which we don't have with us here, so. Or we just don't we have. We just don't no. have, yeah. yeah. So, so we're gonna try that one. Yeah, we're gonna try the easy one. It's about 16 kilometers one way from bottom to top. Our campground is actually right in the middle though, so we're gonna bike down and then all the way up and then back down to our campground. Or we'll bike up then all the way down and back to our campground. Decisions, decisions. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Alright, found it. So the trail is here um, a little bit past the washrooms and found it. That way goes to the uh, camp store that we saw yesterday and this way goes away from it. So I'm guessing this is north and that is south. Which way do we want to go, Beb? It's up to you. Down or up first? We'll go... whatever. We'll go that way. We're already on this side of the road. Okay. Well, that was a little bit confusing. Um, the bike trail does go up and down, but it also veers off to the camp store, which is where we went. And we can't seem to find the trailhead portion that goes, like continues up. Um, but that's okay. We're back at the entrance of the Mule Lake campground on the bike trail. And we've decided we're gonna go the opposite direction because it's the longer portion anyway. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. No promises, right? <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we're back at the campsite. Um, the real trail, it's not super difficult if you have the right tool for the job. Don't listen to what the, website, the websites say. Um, that you probably want thick knobby tires like with a mountain bike. End of story. There's rocks everywhere. Somebody hurt themselves again, again in the foot. Was it the same foot? In the same foot. Um, There's a lot of bugs. We turned around, uh, I made a call to turn around uh, because quite frankly, I really didn't want to walk my bike 16K back. Um, it, yeah, it ju that just wouldn't have been a fun time. I started hearing some weird rubbing, clicking sound from my bike, so. Andy's road bike is not made. Andy's road bike is not, definitely not made for that trail. I'm actually surprised he got as far as he did. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's high time for beer o'clock. Uh, Mill Street Organic again. Where's yours? Tia is with her normal Stella. Stella. Anyways, yeah. We'll be back, but since it's a no promises day, no promises. Current status. Tia has cocooned, getting ready to emerge as a beautiful butterfly. 
fly. All right, lost track of time, I think. Basically, we took a bunch of naps and had um, breakfast food for dinner. Check out the recipe up here. Um, it's an old one, an oldie bug, but a goodie. Then we sat around the fire, walked 3,000, almost 4,000 steps to get to the bathroom, because we are that far. And now we're about to go to sleep, but still. Well, it's a sleep, yeah. We took too many naps, don't know if we're gonna get, uh, actually get to sleep. But, um, not a bad end to the No Promises Day. And, yeah. Tia's getting changed, so we won't film her. I'm about to get changed. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow for day, full day two of Algonquin, where we might go hiking. No promises though. Maybe this will just be a no promises weekend. All right, T and Andy out. All right, Tia. Okay. We hate using bug spray. We don't use it very frequently, but sometimes you just gotta. All right, spray yourself down. Uh, shortly after we talked about how it's a no promise this weekend. Well, we're hiking. Same trail that we talked about before. It's a bit of a hike just to get to the trail. We we're at the very end of the campground. Yeah, we're literally at the end of the campground. We're at the last campsite before uh, it loops. So we're literally the last campground. Um, yeah, we're, we were also not expecting to hike. So we only brought water bladders, which works really well in the bike, but... Or in a bigger backpack. Or in a bigger backpack. But in this tiny backpack, less well. So we're also gonna drop by the camp store and pick up a bottle of water or two so we don't die on the hike. It is very short, but no telling how... It's not that short. It's only 3K. Yeah. Yeah. But no telling how swampy it is, so... Yeah. See you at the trailhead. But I've always known that you would go find your own way. I still see when we climbed up in those trees, twelve years old, feel the wind, watch the river run. So just for context, you can see the campground entrance right there. And the trailhead is right here in this parking lot. So this is like a pretty decent one if you don't want to go too far. It took 2.8 kilometers to get walk from our campsite, which again is at the very end of the campground, all the way here. It's not too bad. Moderate walking pace, 40 minutes. All right, we're approaching the third marker. Um, there are these poles that, like Tia is pointing at, that has a number on it. And we're gonna explain what they mean. Okay, so when you start the trailhead, there is actually trail booklets at the front. And it's nice, you can also dispose of them up there and they reuse them or recycle them, I'm not sure which one they do. But in, ugh, sorry, bugs in my ears. In the trail guides, it actually explains what these markers are. So if you're looking for something educational, grab a booklet at the start of the trailhead, learn a little bit something while you're hiking. If it's not for you, leave the booklet behind. Let's go.
These things are called trail markers. You follow them to make sure you're on the right trail. Now, notice how they're a different color on the other side. Follow the same color, follow the trail, and you'll be good to go. They're usually fairly close sleep uh, together. So, for example, I can see another one up there. They are reflective, so even in the dark, you should be able to follow it, but they can get hard to see. Now, these ones are really well marked, but there are ones where it's just like a, like a spray paint on a tree or even a ribbon that is tied up. So depending on how well the trail association does, you know, your mileage may vary, but wherever the, uh, those things are, you can just tell that you're on the right track. We're about a kilometer into the trail and it looks like there is a bit of a lookout here. This does bring, bring you up to a cliff side. So we're just waiting our turn because there's currently people on the lookout and uh, we're just waiting for it to clear out a little bit. Looks like there's a second lookout here. No need to like trap yourself on the first one. This one's even on the way. Whoa. It's pretty cool. Following the markers, TA is enjoying the hike. Oh, 10. Marker number 10. The final one. Okay, on our No Promises Day, doing this hike, it was worth it. I would do it again. Maybe we'll do it again tomorrow. Maybe a different hike. I don't know, we'll see. We are gonna shower tonight though, because I'm pretty sweaty. Thirsty? No, I'm okay. Okay, shall we head back or? Okay, so Is there a mosquito on my shoulder? Yes. Two options. We can go to the camp store, which is that way, and get ice cream. Or we can go back to our campsite, which is going to take two point some kilometers of walking and have water. Andy's decision. Not choosing. Not choosing. I think water. Campsite? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hello? Hi? Thanks. Yes? Okay. Uh, whew. That, that was a pretty good hike, actually. We're starving, though. Tia is making food. Where's we. Pan? She is interrupting me. She's making food. We're uh, having our vagina wrap again. What are you looking for now? Oh. Right there. 